everybody and welcome back to the challenging and fun mod back from Danny and Son real tech mod back it's good fun I'm playing I mean a lot of fun doing this game so what I'd like to do today is go to the nether so let's start doing that I've already got stuff prepared as you can see in my hotbar I've got the awesome yeah the obsidian pickaxe which should be able to dig up any um, cobalt or ardite that we find so let's have a look and see how we get on I think that's all I need I've got everything else have a look in here I've got my backpack on I've got this armor which I should going to take off as soon as I get near and I've actually set everything up ready in preparation for this episode basically that means this thing here have I got my have I got it with me I don't see it I'm looking for the let's just put this just put the rucksack down oh, yeah steel and flint Steel, I mean. <laughs> right, let's get that out. We need to light this thing up like that. And I've set a trapdoor here, and below the trapdoor, I've put some one of those nasty flowers. So let's go through here and see what we meet. Now, I have been here before, I will be honest. I had a game crash. I couldn't. What happened is I set up climatization and it didn't disappear. So I know what to expect. I think we're coming in the same place as we did last time. Now, there is also a gas around, so I want to get rid of this, this thing secured as quickly as possible. I should be able to do it like this. Huh? Well, at least put it this way, there was a gas around. Well, that tree will help at the back. That, that tree will help at the back. Let's just do it like this. So, I'm just going to build a very, very simple protection. Nothing special at all. And you can already see there's some ardite over there. And there's some glowstone over there, so there's lots of resources. I'd be better this with a wand, wouldn't I? Never mind. Uh, actually, as long as we can get the roof on, it's fine. And that what I built around the other place was a trap, basically. So any mobs that decide that they want to come and visit us will fall in. We'll get stuck in that trap and hopefully fall down and be disposed of by whatever means it is. So can I get that on there? Yeah. Good. I think that'll do for this side. Let's go and do this side. Don't need anything too complicated. And as far as I can see, temp amp it doesn't work very well. It's actually gone off. And last time I came here I got so much lag. I couldn't play the game properly either, so let's just go up here. What we're really here for today, of course, is Netherrack, because we need to get there. Um, Blast Furnace built. And this doesn't look like such a bad place, but I'm going to take the opportunity while we're here. I'll still do it. I think this will do it like that, actually. I can hear it. Because there is a gas to I don't know where. Well, let's start. Let's start over here because over here I see some. Oops, fire! This is one problem. With that this is what I'm going to put down the climatization here. In fact, we might have to go back to the. Oops, let's, let's do. Let's put it down here because I got it ready. Now the problem is it got stuck on last time I did this. So now as soon as I do that, the temperature should come down a bit. Because this is a covered area. It should do. Yes, it's coming down. Good. Now, before I go back across this, I've got to make sure. I don't need this in hand, do I? I've got to make sure that. Let's put the bow in the hand here. That I turn it off. So let's pick up some netherrack while we're here to start with. Oh, yes, I'm getting this nasty lag again. And I think it's to do with clim this climatization thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off now. Oh, of course I've got my wool on arm and it doesn't help either, does it? I forgot about that. Right, so as soon as you put the other one on, it picks the stuff up. And the temperature should <laughs> go down a bit. Ah, yes. Ah. Zombie pigment. Hello, zombie pigment. Where's that? Where's that gone to? Here we go. Now it's gone. So I'm not suffering too much lag either. So that's good. Actually, I'm saying that I am suffering quite a lot of lag. 
So, with a bit of luck this time, I'll turn it off and we'll just make sure. Oops, wrong one. Let's go and get this R diet sorted out here. There's some R diet here. Of course, the zombie pigment are curious. There should be five blocks here. And because I've got this iron armor and I've got magnetic. With magnetic, it picks up a lot. That stuff, no problem whatsoever. Now I can hear that ghast again. There it is, look. Let's see if we can get, just pick up some more of this before we get a shot out. He hasn't seen us good. Now there's some Ardite over here too. And I'm getting hot again. So I think that will do for the first trip. <laughs> I'm not a coward. Promise. And hopefully we don't suffer the same lag as last time. Good. Turn that on. Those, those will open up so that anything coming through here is not too bad. Now let's just have a look because the temp time has gone off again. Temp info, I think is what I was trying to say. Anyway. And it doesn't seem to come back. Oh, maybe that's because I've got the bow in my hand? No, it can't be. So I think there's a slight problem here. But I'm not sure if that's going to be a pro permanent problem now. So let's put. Oh, I did get it this time. Good. So we have actually retained the R die. Last uh, the cobalt last time, it disappeared on me. So I think I'm okay. So long as I find somewhere to place it, that is. Uh, this will do. So we've got 17 netherite. Let's go and smelt those up. It looks like it's night time, so let's make sure we've got our sleeping bag. And in fact, I think the sleeping bag is in here. For some reason I put it in there, don't ask me why, because it makes no sense in it being in there. Yeah. And between episodes I found some more uh, Kimberlite and I went and dug it up. There we are, 100, 113 blocks away. It wasn't very far away, it wasn't very visible, it was quite well hidden. So I, dig, I dug that up. Um, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm a bit being a bit sort of distracted here because I want, I'm not 100% sure. Where did that come from? A block of stone on top of the hopper. Well, actually, that's not so bad. That's not such a bad thing to have anyway because it'll, we can still access the hopper by right clicking underneath. And that'll stop it searching for, for items, but I don't know how it got there. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Uh, right, so we've got the Ardite. I thought, let's have a look. Can we actually process the Ard the Ardite in the same way as we process other ores? So here's the crushing table. With uh, I'll tell you what, let's just swap that one over now and bring this stone matic out. I'm not sure the snowballs are going to be useful, but we might as well take them. Let's see if we can sluice box it away. So I probably need that. If I'm going to need any, I'm going to need the iron hammer, I guess. So let's just see if this works. And what I should also be doing is taking some coal and sticking it. Let's do that, because that's going to take a while as well. Let's take... Do you know, I've got so much. 11, that'll be plenty. Let's go and set these going in the boiler. And get that boiler heated up. Okay, now let's try that again. <laughs> that'll do. So that'll start melting that stuff away the, in the pollution free way of doing it, which is actually rather nice because there's a lot of pollution. It doesn't disappear that pollution, which is also strange. Right. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can hammer this hard. Oh, I don't know whether we can. I can actually look it up, can't I? That would be a sensible thing to do. Normally you can on these things. No, nope, can't do it in this case. And I'm cold because I haven't got my clothes on again. That's the problem, isn't it? Let's do these two. You've got to watch out. That's what the f that's what the fun of this thing is. You forget and you get you free to death, and that's the end of that. <laughs> right, we don't need any hypothermia anyway, so. So let's look. I can have, actually I've got some 
I'm a bit thirsty. I'll have a drink. Put the put that away. In fact, we'll, I'll wait till the next one comes through. So that's fine. So, so that didn't work. So let's have a look at the use of this then. All right, we can hammer it to one cobalt dust, as we know. We can smelt it to one iron. I think this will go to two, two ingots. Yes. Oh, it tells you ingots, and not millilucky buckets at the moment. That's good. Uh, furnace will give you two, and a chance to slag. Uh, crush will give you two, and dust. Okay, so it should work. Mining level iron. Let's just try that again. I did use the right hammer, didn't I? An iron hammer from Entity Craft. Doesn't seem to be working. I wasn't dreaming. Let's take the let's take the stone. I can't believe that will work. Actually, honestly, I'll be honest with you. Let's take a stone hammer. See if it works with a stone hammer. I'd be very surprised. No, nope, it ain't working. So it's best to stick it into this into the smell tree, which of course is makes a lot of pollution. So we'll do that anyway. And I've got oh, an iron chest plate in here that hasn't. Oh, probably need to get free up the ingots. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's do that. Um, part I need the casts. That should be in this one here. So I've got an ingot cast here, which we made or I made last time, sometime. Anyway, let's put that down there and then right-click that. And you see that that's now gone in. And I think that yes, so you get eight iron ingots from one chest plate. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? So let's take that out and repeat the process. I didn't check. No, we'll only get one from the furnace, I'm sure of it. Four. Ha! Yeah, so did you see that? That got thrown out. Shouldn't get thrown out. So, hopefully, now, I'm hoping that they haven't, didn't get very much. Another rack did I, but I think I've got enough to start with. I might have to go back. Right, that's it. I think that'll be it. And then we should be smelting some Ardite. Lava's looking a bit low. Let's put some more lava into it. And this is actually looking a bit low too, but I should be able to get two buckets of lava out of that good I can. Another one, yeah. Another one, no. So we've got one bucket of lava in there, that's fine. So that'll all smelt up nicely, I guess. And we've got our first two ingots of cobalt, fantastic. So we can actually start to make some uh, tools and weapons out of this, but for, I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm going to go and do that later on. Let's go over to the other place. Make sure we don't fall in the river. Let's see if we've got... Oh, yes, steam's working. So we must be getting power. So therefore, we should be able to put into here the netherrack. And sure enough, that's working. So we're getting our nether bricks. So we're getting our nether bricks without pollution, which is which is actually really good. How much? How many ingots have we got in there? Three, three nuggets of... Well, three blocks of coal. Three coal. So this has got 120, zero joules, 20 watts. It should be producing about 40 watts, this thing. But I guess that this is already full. Oh, it's not full yet. I think it uses a small battery power when it's not in use. I'll have to take that out, do I? Ah, uh, okay. Now that means we can make some more bits and pieces for this. Well, I might have to do that. Let's do a look. Think about looking at that one. Of course, I'm going to have to come over here and get my Arda cobalt ingots out and do the next one. Let's have a look at what. Well, actually, well, I'm, let's just do that over here because that doesn't take too long. In fact, I probably don't need to. Let's give it two little to one. Okay. 
Just wondering how many we've got in our cup. We've got ten. Yeah, that should be too many. We need to go down to about five. Right. Okay. Right, let's put the iron away. Oh, let's have a look. This everything's got snow on it. <laughs> right. I don't need this hammer. I'll put the hammer away up here. Let's just dig up snow with this thing. No. It's a good. It's probably a good idea to take snow when you can, anyway, because it only comes once a year in the winter. So now I'll put the snow away. It doesn't. Strangely enough, it doesn't melt in the chest. <laughs> Do I have it in there? Oh, I know where I've got snow. I've got loads of snow in here. That's actually full. <laughs> right, not so good. Because it doesn't stack very hard to see the snow. So I'll put those three snowballs over there. So now let's have a look at an inserter or an extractor. So that again is part of Magnetic Craft and it's an extra. Oh, is that in just in my server? Uh, engineering, I want. That was Pollution of the Realm. Oh, that's a good point. I want to do something of that as well. Geology and the measure engineering. I, mean, I can't speak. Because um, what I wanted to do is to make some lanterns. So, but we don't need to do that today. So I would like to do at magnetic craft. And we want to have a look at an inserter. I think it's called an inserter. This thing. So what do we need? One leg in it, two ingots and iron nuggets and two iron plates. So lead ingots. That's not too difficult. We should be able to do that. So we've got lead ingots, we've got iron nuggets. I think they're over there. We should go and get those. But they might have run out. Because I was making those extra, extra batteries, so there's a good chance of one. Brilliant. Okay, Is completely full as usual. Let's get up this. Uh, let's get the next oh, iron coming out of here. Is it night time already? Goodness, right? Let's just hammer down two of these. this put the next one down and let's slide down and we should be able to sleep yet and I don't see any mobs around you can actually put the, the sleeping bag down now as it happens right that's working away let's go along here there's a lot of things to concentrate on at the moment so I need to do the insert and I think we've got oh, we've got some motors already because I made too many last time I think we're going to have to make two of these things. So let's do two. Um, tell you what, let's do it like this. Don't need sticks, I don't think. But I will need some more plates in that case. We'll do two more. You get used to doing that, actually. You've got fun. So let's take this one. Oh, I'm missing lead iron nuggets. Okay, so we need. I should have another iron. Yep, good. Give me ten, and that'll be fine. We should be able to make this no problem. I don't think it needs power. Why does that not work? Missing one leg of the dinger. Okay, fine. That's no big deal. What happened there? I've got no inventory space. I've got no inventory space. Let's put that up there then. On to that right, that time it worked. And you can also make conveyor belts in this as well. It's got conveyor belts. These things. What do we need? Four iron, one machine block. I think we've probably got some more machine blocks and three iron plates. 
Oh, sorry, that's the wrong recipe. Yeah, but I need three iron plates anyway. So we need seven iron and one machine block. Got two. I oh, actually got one of those. To take that out of there. And let's see. I think we've got some machine blocks. One left. Fantastic. Um, yeah, let's put the healing self in there. <laughs> so we need another iron plate, I think. Of course, I've got no space whatsoever. I'll tell you what. Let's put the sleeping back on there and get the hammer out. I really, I'm <laughs> scraping the barrel at the moment, aren't I? <laughs> With space. But I think I need that one. I have to pick it up this one, like that. So we want to do this. Oh, we're missing one plate. Okay, good. Just one plate. That's not too bad. Still doing the same crafting table because that picks up the thing. So we've now got. We should have two of these. Do they sort? Do they look stack? By the way, let's have a look. Oh, they do good. That gives me two more spaces. I can see that straight away. Fantastic. So what we can then do. Hopefully the the, the board has still got enough power in it. It's gone out. I've still got this battery in here. Oh, battery's still got charge in it. And this is smelting. So what we can do, I really do need to take one out. I think we just put an extract and insert it down like this. And I don't know if it's got an interface, it hasn't. And then we put onto behind that, I think, we put these conveyor belts. And I guess they've got a direction. So we can see. So my guess is that it would just I would put them down the way I want it to go. Never done it, so I'll find out if I've got it the right way around or not. Yeah. So that then should send stuff off, and then we can put another uh, down another one of these things. I think, and then we'll put a chest. Oh my God, this chest. Yeah, I'm going to dig up this chest <laughs> and watch those things. They'll actually follow me, I think. Let's put this chest down. Did I pick up the chest? I didn't. Picked up everything but the chest. Right, let's see what we can get out of here. Don't need those. Chest good. Then we can pick this stuff up afterwards. But I'm, I'm not sure whether there's a separate thing or an inserter or an extractor. So let's put what we've got in here. That's that one. That's the motor. Don't need that motor. Glass, I think, was in there. And I think the steps were in there. They're not despawning fast enough. So that's that's good. Oops, I want the hammer, don't I? Probably want the letting it. Oh. Okay, I wonder if I have to do something with this. Because it's going the wrong way. Maybe it's because I put it down that direction. Tell you what. Let's dig up this one. I'll need a pickaxe to dig it up. Yes, the things got thrown off. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I wonder if I could have put this down in the direction I want it to go. So for example, let's put it down that way. Do things start to go into this chest now? Well, do you know, I'm not sure. Let's remove this one. I assume it's just doing the same thing. Now, I would hope everything starts to go into this chest. It looks like it is, but it's slow. That's okay. Don't mind that at all. So let's do the same thing from here. So we want it to go this direction. Let's put it down that way. And hopefully... Oh yes, there's nothing in here. Look, that brick has gone, gone in and it's gone across. So that is how that works. As you can see, we're getting another, another bricks in there now. How much power has this got in it? It's got enough volts, watts. It's got enough watts in there. I think the watts are probably coming from this battery. No. Let's have a look at the steam generator. That's going down. Probably needs some more coal. Let's go and give it a couple more bits of coal. Yeah, I'm quite pleased I've managed to figure it out. I did look at the documentation and I haven't found that much about it. 
to do the actual details of this stuff. So anyway, next episode I'm going to be doing some immersive engineering I think because the power is not compatible. I did try I did test it out. I tried to connect um this to some another device. In fact I tried to connect to an immersive engineering lamp. I went to survival mode, uh creative mode and just test to see if it could test it out. And it was actually quite smart. It works quite well. There should be two more of these here yeah, in here good. In fact we can stick some that's it. Let's put So we have a little bit of automation at last. Um is there anything I need from in here? I don't think so. Actually, I need to check the recipe for that blast bricks because we need 27. That between episodes, if I need more, which I probably will do, let's go and check what we need for blast. We could also make the coke stuff, in fact, the coke oven stuff. So that's that's so that's how that bit worked. Um, the other thing I want to do for this magnetic craft is um, certainly the solar tap. What's it called? Let's see if we can find it. The solar panel, or maybe even, and certainly a shelving unit, a grind, a sieve. We'll do all of this. The solar tower. So we need a basically a light tungsten plate. No big deal. We just hammer some, and some paper. We'll make get that multi-block pattern. So for that, we need the book. Let's got the book, which I think is actually in the pack pack. Because I did remove it because I don't need to take it when I go to the nether. Here we go. Oh, and I want to do this gauntlet too because I've got lots of obsidian. I want obsidian mining. Um, I can show you that in fact. So let's have a look at this. So I was looking at the generations. So the generators. So we've got the solar tower. And the solar tower is basically, it needs. One solar tower, we can do that now. 16 machine blocks, we've made those already. Two copper coils, we've made that already. And seven corrugated iron blocks, we've made those before for doing the steam engine. And the, and it generates steam, which we can use to make the steam engine so that we never have to go and fill it up with coal. And I think that's going to be a great way of doing it. So it generates... So the max production of the tower is 1,200 millibits of steam per tick. We're going to 2400 watts every solar mirror linked to the tower generates 16 watts in the form of heat so you need quite a lot of those to get up to that level I don't think you can do 20 so then and therefore we've got to go and check the that one out so let's go and check that one out i think well, i want to go back i'm going back no, i can have back in this thing machines generators so we need a solar panel so we need Eight electric machine blocks. So hopefully we can do those, and a solar panel blueprint, which we should be able to do. So let's just check that out. So a solar panel blueprint is solar tower, solar mirror. Actually, it's solar mirrors. I think is what we need. Copper plate, no big deal. A piece of paper, shipping container, pump jack, hydraulic press, oil heater, and refinery. Ah, oh, this isn't in the manual. It's one. Of, well, maybe it is. Solar panel. That's another quartz which we've got. Oh, and so we can make a solar panel. So, so that's what it was an electric blueprint, wasn't it? Ah, oh, the snow is going now. Good. Uh, I'll put charcoal. Let's get this thing down here. Have a quick sleep while it's night time. Make sure we got our health back. She did all right. So the climatization didn't get stuck on, but I don't know what's wrong with the temp tamp and that's actually working again now, that's good. And 14 is, because we're coming into spring, which is actually more than we need, so we can actually then put back our metal armor, which is probably good, I think. I can see the boots, can't see the boots, where are the boots gone to there? So that'll make 10 as, a, as our level, which is fine. So let's pick up that and get the next one going. So we'll look. So we've got one block left in there. And we should have our. Hopefully they haven't been thrown around. It could be, of course. No. 
I don't see any thrown around there. I've just got that one. So it'll be another one. Oh, it's full. Okay, of course it is, yes. That explains that. Seven ingots. I need to get this one out, otherwise it can't. It can't fill up the next one, so we just need three blocks of this. That ingots out of this. I really don't want to do this on camera, but it's difficult not to do so. Right, what I want to check is we need to go to immersive craft. Oh, it's the electric machine block I wanted to do, wasn't it? I think we've done this as well. This one. Lapis. No, we haven't. Light tungsten plates and a block of quartz. We can do that. That makes two of those. So we can certainly do solar panels and solar mirrors. It's only steel that would be a problem. And there is one machine that has a steel, and that's it. I'm not sure about the windmill. Let's have a look at the windmill. It's this one, a wind turbine. A fabric mesh line up, that's no big deal. A string, oh, we can do that. It's no big deal, we should probably to be able to make the, the wind turbine as well. Rather than magnetic craft, that's another way of generating power. I'm not sure how much it produces, maybe it's enough to, de to get that going. So that's something else I'm going to prepare the bits for between episodes. Like collecting string and doing things like that, nothing very exciting really. And then we want to have a look at immersive craft. And we want to have a look at, that's not immersive craft, immersive engineering. And we want to have a look at this blast bricks, blast bricks. So we need four, that'll give us three. We need, therefore we need 27 of these. Which means nine times four, 36. I haven't got enough netherrack. So I need another, what have we got? 15 netherrack. I'll go and do that between episodes and get this. But well, of course, I have got to get blaze powder. And I haven't got any blaze powder. Um, well, that's a good way of doing that if it works. Crush is also a good way. It's four. With well, a chance of sulfur dust. Uh, okay. That's going to be tough. <laughs> I've got to go and find some blazes. And it's hot in the nether. I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> but with a bit of luck, we can succeed. Oh, there you go. That's the last. Yeah, that's the last one. Because this makes a load of pollution. This thing. That's something else to do between episodes. But we can actually do the coke oven. I think this is something I can get prepared for that. Let's have a look at the coke oven. It'll be this one here. Coke bricks, clay, no problems. Bricks. So we need again. We need thirty-six bricks, which is thirty-six. Let's do that. Let's get that into a brush. But I might have already got some made. I've got 14 in here. So we need t another 22, don't we? So clay, I've got a 209. <laughs> That's plenty. Um, 22 does a good 9. Let's just get rid of that. Like, I want 22. Ah, oh, awkward. Um, tell you what. We'll do 32. And we'll stick these into the thing and put these ones back in here. That. And then we can put these into the into the generator and get some more coal out. Let's get these into here. And they're cooking up nicely. Let's make sure this has got enough coal in it. Three pieces will probably be enough. And we should start to see some bricks come in. Here we got our first one, fantastic. And the second one. Oh, wow. Well, we're making some progress in magnetic craft. I'm quite happy with that. So I will prepare the other ingredients. It's just good. I think I've got enough resources. As you saw, I've now got 99 diamonds, 52 emeralds, a reasonable amount, uh, 149 redstone ore, which of course is going to break into about six, I think, if I take one of these out put it down and let's just hammer it with my fortune pick I got eight which is well above average I think and it doesn't matter matter whether you do that on with redstone or or um, the geolysis redstone cinder bar or it's fine 
so that's it for this episode it's been a few bit of progress I'm quite happy with this one it's been good to go to the nether got the, the bricks I'll go and get some more we've got some uh, uh, cobalt and next time I'll go and grab some arvdite from there as well uh, hopefully I won't cook or be killed and somehow I've got to find some blazes and get kill some blaze rods out but maybe I need to do a little bit more with my weapons first of all we didn't do the gauntlet and we'll do that next time I think anyway until then bye for now